You might be wondering how there is such a high density of automotive YouTubers in the Wichita, Kansas area. And that answer is pretty simple. A man by the name of Tyler Hoover corralled us all together and unified us into what is known as the Wichita YouTube Mafia. We all know Tyler Hoover of Hoovy's Garage. If you don't, I don't know how you're watching this, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> now, Tyler Hoover has had a meteoric rise in the car YouTube scene. We've seen his stories on this very channel about how Jeremy Clarkson launched his career. Tyler Hoover made his channel rescuing hoopties, making general bad car decisions, and throughout that kind of grew into what we know Hoovy's Garage as today. But alongside of him, he had a lot of people, both behind the scenes and on camera, that were very interested in what he was doing and decided to kind of take a crack at it on their own. The first person to be beaten with the Tyler Hoover YouTube stick was uh, David, the car wizard. Now, David was always a co-star with Hoovy on his channel, being his mechanic, the guy who can fix anything, fix everything, and had a teddy bear, calm personality, a totally lovable dude. And guess what happened? Tyler elbowed him and elbowed him, saying, start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel. If memory serves me correctly, I don't think David wanted to at first, but Tyler put on his spurs, and next thing you know, David's got a YouTube channel. His wife films it, David talks, does what he does best, shares his expertise, his wife edits it, and next thing you know, you've got yourself a car wizard video. Now, of course, Hoovy still makes his famous cameos on this channel, and it's done really, really well. Because this was the first of the YouTube channels to sprout out of the Hoovy garden, uh, it naturally got a lot of early traction because, naturally, Wizard has a huge built-in audience. Everybody loved him on Hoobie's channel. How are you not gonna love him on his channel? You got, you wanna go see what he's doing, and people did. And guess what? Now, <laughs> the Wizard channel has grown to such a level that he's been able to buy himself not one, not two, but three yachts, and his wife, who now shows up on the channel, does interior reviews, and is often a voice, uh, has bought herself a Maserati Levante. So. I think most people would say that the wizard is doing pretty well thanks to Hoovy's spurring. And not to mention, because he is the car wizard, a name that was bestowed upon him by Hoovy. Another nickname in the mechanics realm as well that was bestowed upon somebody by Hoovy was the Car Ninja. And the Car Ninja's channel, Velocity Garage, is another genesis in the gospel that is Hoovy. Johnny, the Car Ninja, got his start working at another German car specialty shop around town and had his Hoovy's Garage debut fixing Tyler's E60 M5 when the wizard couldn't. Now that, of course, immediately caught not only Tyler's, but the nation's attention. And the next thing you know, Car Ninja is a household name. Fast forward a few months, the Ninja himself has his own shop right on the same side of town as Tyler and Velocity Garage was born. So Johnny, along with his detail guy, Mike, who is the cameraman and editor, now have an awesome channel that is focusing on kind of the goings around at the shop, but it's shot in a very interesting way. It's shot in a professional discovery channel in the early 2000s-esque manner that makes you want to keep following along. They don't focus on too many jobs for too long. You just kind of get this general sense of the things coming in and out of the shop. And next thing you know, jobs get done. There's the cool music transitions. It's amazing. There's drone segues. The professionalism of that channel, <laughs> I think we all envy, and it's a really, really cool thing. And of course, none of this would have happened if it weren't for the lighthouse of hope that is Tyler Hoover guiding errant ships to the YouTube light. Now, the next apple that fell directly from the Tyler Hoover tree is Watch JR Go. Now, Watch JR Go did have his own channel simultaneously with Hoovy's Garage but the focus of it was definitely more of a moto vlogging tech channel, almost entirely tech based and or riding his motorcycle and vlogging through his helmet. Cool stuff, but that all changed one day when he bought a very, very cheap Range Rover and one Tyler Hoover said, hey, let's do a video together. Tyler had him on the channel. They compared the ways of old Range Rovers and next thing you know, watch JR Go's YouTube trajectory 
was forever altered by the gravity force of Hoovy's Garage. Now, Watch JR Go, a wildly successful channel, now does car repair, fixing cheap stuff, flips, and at one point he had the largest automotive space in all of YouTube. That's pretty significant. And again, his, his history was altered by the pen of Tyler Hoover. The next opportunistic remora fish in the slipstream of the whale that is Tyler Hoover is 100% Jake. Now this is a guy who looks like he's 40, acts like he's 40, but is surprisingly 23. <laughs> his channel focuses on the nitty gritty. He gets in there with his repairs in his fleet of below cheap cars. He takes that whole, I'm gonna buy a cheap car thing to a whole nother level, but he not only fixes them, he keeps them going with almost a MacGyver-like way. And not just zip ties. The guy can fix things with gum wrappers, make connections with things that shouldn't happen. And he uses the word multimeter incorrectly in a way that I've never heard. It's worth checking out the channel just for that. <laughs> the guy has great humor, subtle, dry presentation that makes you just want to keep watching. And he has a knowledge of practically everything he touches. First seen on Hoobie's channel during the last hand on the Maserati wins, he was actually, I believe, one of the top three people left. And boy, did his knees and back take a beating. <laughs> He's standing and touching that thing for like 18 hours or something nuts. He was really in there till the very end and uh, he still kicks himself to this day about letting go. But you know what? He still makes regular appearances on Tyler's channel and Tyler pops into his channel every once in a while. The next ripple in the pond disrupted by the stone that is Tyler Hoover uh, is myself, the Elliot Alvis channel, which some would say might be the greatest channel to come out of this uprising of local YouTubers. I wouldn't necessarily, but you know, some have said. I've been called similar to Tyler in a presentation style, but with a 35% more willingness to work on my own cars. My features are that I do a little bit of everything. I do reviews, I do work on my own cars, I do a little bit of vlogging, and I do show repairs, but I don't get bogged down in the details. I don't show you every wrench turn, but you can see that something's happening. And of course, I have regular cameos from both Hoovy and my family members. My uncle and my dad are almost always zipping in and out of frame, helping me with something, and it's a lot of fun. If you like cat shirts, you'll probably like my channel. <laughs> Another act in the big top that is the Tyler Hoover Circus is Euro-Asian Bob. Now, Bob is a used car dealer from back in Tyler's used car days, but he's also a really, really good friend of Hoovy's. You see him in a ton of videos now, often referred to as Euro-Asian Bob, <laughs> and he is making a go of a YouTube channel himself. What started out as a YouTube channel just to show the walk-arounds of cars that he has for sale has kind of turned into a thing. People love Euro-Asian Bob. People love the awesome inventory that he has. And he has this infectious way of the, an uncut, excited walk-around of his inventory that makes you want to watch even if you're not really interested in the car. Bob buys cool stuff that I think a lot of other lots don't. And then is excited about them, and that really translates well on camera. Of course, now he's actually kind of segueing into more like things on his own, like here's an actual just personal car of mine and let me tell you about it uh, kind of thing. So he's got a little bit of both. He still definitely uses it for his dealership, which is very much still a functioning thing, but he's now also a YouTube personality. Like I said, you regularly see him on, on Tyler's channel, and I have a feeling you'll regularly see Tyler on his channel. Bob is a used car dealer as a personality, and I mean that in the best way possible. He never turns off. <laughs> the guy is excited, positive, and upbeat about everything that he does, and I mean, it can't help but show in his videos. And it is just, it's just the coolest thing to see that also grow from the root that is Hoobie's Garage. So Tyler's impact on the local Wichita YouTube community is obvious. You can't avoid him between him buying cars, repairing cars, giving away cars, driving cars. He's 
a force. But you might wonder what those closest to him in his actual neighborhood community think of Hoovy's garage. And well, the answer there is that his own neighbor, Tyler Potter, has started a YouTube channel. Tyler is a master Dodge technician. In fact, he was the only guy I ever let touch my Hellcat and the only guy I ever let touch my wife's Jeep. But he has a YouTube channel that is also very personality driven and repair driven. He himself has an awesome collection of cars, including a ZL1 1LE that has about 2000 miles on it, which doesn't sound interesting on the surface. But when I tell you those 2000 miles, about 10 of them are on the street and the rest of them are on the track. Every mile on that ZL1 1LE has been put down hard on the track in one form or another. And it is so, so cool. He also just acquired a new Ram TRX and is modding that and drag racing and doing all the cool stuff you should be doing with a Ram TRX. And he's always got boats in and out of there, showing engine repairs. He's got an off-roading aspect. Tyler Potter is really an up and comer and the latest in the Wichita car YouTube mafia. So not only are the people closest to him in his neighborhood hopping on the YouTube train, but the fruit of Hoovy's own loins, his son Liam, has managed to start a YouTube account. Unbelievable. He's got to be a prodigy. But the man has started a YouTube channel, Little Hoovy's Garage. And if you look at the subscriber base, pretty substantial. That's an impact. And you can only say that that was by the guidance of his father, Hoovy himself. Now, this might all sound like a cult or a pyramid scheme, but Try to picture Tyler at the top here and all of us beneath him and all of his knowledge trickling down upon us, but with us below him having no real way to give back up to the top. So it's actually quite a good system. <laughs> Tyler regularly makes appearances on our channels, brings us onto his channel, gives cars to us randomly sometimes, sometimes comes in and messes up what we're doing, jumps on our hoods, does things like that, uh, but he's always there. He didn't just light our fuses and walk away. He has continued to nurture us, guide us, and be the shepherd of our YouTube flock. You might be concerned with all of this Tyler Hoover praise that you know something terrible might have happened to him or is going to happen to him, but I can assure you that he is alive and well and he had absolutely nothing to do with the concept of this video or even the shirt that I'm wearing. No impact whatsoever. This is here, I'm here on my own free will. This is just me, <laughs> just talking here. All right, Tyler, I, I did it. No, it, it went pretty well. Can, can you let her go now, please? I promise, no, I promise you look good. Okay, thank you. Premier Financial Services has been a sponsor of the VinWiki YouTube channel for the last four years, and we love them for that, but we also love their simple lease. It's one of the most powerful tools in the world of exotic car financing. It allows you to minimize your payment, minimize your down payment, have the flexibility to move in and out of cars, and take all of the advantages that are available to a leasing structure. So check them out at the link in the description below. We appreciate their continued support of VinWiki, and since you heard about them last here on the channel, they were actually acquired by First Financial Bank USA. And what does that mean for you? It means they're now larger than any of the other exotic car banks you may have heard of. They can move faster, buy more deals, and give you even better customer service. So thank them for their continued support of Venwiki and use them as your tool to buy your dream car soon.